testimony of subject A163, The Girl in Blue. The Republic of Elysium, they call it. In Greek myth, Elysium was a paradise. This is a far cry from paradise. They'll probably sell you this bullshit story of how Elysium sets an example for the rest of the world. How about we swap places for a day? You and me. Then tell me what you think of this perfect world. Yeah, okay. So the inner city may be this thriving metropolis. But what about the outer city? Where people like me are kept. They separate us from the rest of society. See, anyone who's gay, bi, transgender, any member of the LGBT community, or anyone who doesn't conform to their agenda gets separated from everyone else. We have to wear uniforms, colored jumpers, so that everyone knows which sin we commit. I wear a blue jumper. I'm not sure of the reasoning as to why I have to wear blue. It's just the law, I suppose. Maybe they're changing the meaning of the rainbow, turning it into a symbol of hate rather than one of unity. Or they're getting rid of it. You have no idea how many pride flags I've seen burning. And that's not the only thing they burn around here. After a while, you get used to the smell of burning flesh. I've been in Elysium for, I think it's about three years now. I haven't seen my family, my friends, or my girlfriend for three damn years. Do you know what that's like? Not being able to see the ones you love for months? No, years at a time? Do you know how many times I've cried myself to sleep knowing that I'll never see my family again? I don't even know where any of them are. Anyway, you wanted to know about the outer city, did you? Okay, brace yourself. The outer city is where the conversion therapy happens. They attempt to wash the sin from us by any means necessary. Brainwashing, torture, you name it. They tried to brainwash me. It didn't work. They tortured me, that didn't work either. None of this will work. The purification they're waiting for will never come. They can't change me. Or anyone. Testimony of Subject B-153. The Commander of Elysium. The Republic was born of one key motive, purification. Our goal is to purify and eradicate. We promised people a world of hope and serenity, and that's what we have given them. Many rose up to fight us when we came to power. But after a while, they began to see the good in what we were doing. Either that, or they accepted their new reality. The inner city of Elysium is a fantastic modern city, teeming with life, happiness, and most of all, purity. I look out of my office window every morning and see the world we have created. There are still people who haven't forgotten how the city came to be. The outer city is home to the outcasts, those who refuse to change for the good of the Republic. It is where those in the jumpers reside. Their rainbow flag used to be a symbol of freedom and justice, but now it is a symbol of fear, and according to some, oppression. I myself am not without my convictions. 
during the rise of Elysium. I had to ensure that nothing may corrupt my mind as I came to power. I had a younger brother. He was about 19 or 20, and I'm afraid to say he did not conform to what we wanted society to become. The Republic ordered all people like him to be exiled to the outer city for conversion therapy. This included my brother. I had a choice to make. Keep him safe or hand him over. As I stated, I had to let nothing corrupt my mind. So, I did what I had to do. I partly feel guilt, but then I find comfort in the fact that the day will come when he'll be walking the streets of Elysium a new man, and he will be welcomed with open arms. But that day is far away, as is the purification of society as we know it.